Hi, Mike Hinderleiter here, the Dean of Power Wash with PowerWash.com. And today I want to talk to you about Apple Blossom, our color marking uh, surfactant that a lot of people are, have, have, have requested for us to demonstrate how we're doing this with a downstream injector. So not only am I going to demonstrate the Apple Blossom, but I'm also going to show you the downstream injector kit that works with Apple Blossom. So Apple Blossom, like I said, it has a color marking dye in it. So when you mix it with the bleach, it, it begins to fade, this color marker does. It takes anywhere from 10 to 15, 20, maybe 25 minutes, depending on the strength of color mark of Apple Blossom that you put in with your mix. Some people are batch mixing this because they love the smell of the apple and they're, they're fine with the, the color marker going away. But if you use our downstream ejection kit, which is a dual port downstream ejector, and what we're gonna do is put this into our mix of bleach. Normally a 50-50 mix is what we're going to have this go into, but it depends on how you're applying it, what you're putting it on, you need to decide what that strength is. What we're gonna do with the other side is put this into our mix of apple blossom, and I'll show you how to mix that in a second. But what is on this downstream injector kit is a metering valve. This metering valve allows us to dial in the mix of apple blossom we want to blend with the bleach as it goes onto the surface so we actually get the maximum benefit of the color marking dye out of the apple blossom. So when it goes through, hits the surface, we have the strongest color differentiation, <laughs> differential when it hits the surface and then it'll fade slowly as it's mixed with the bleach. So you can see where you've applied to the surface. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is let me set this down here and let me, let me mix up the bleach. Before I start, I'm gonna put on a pair of disposable gloves because I want to keep, <laughs> so if I get the color marking dye on my fingers, it's gonna be on there unless I watch with, wash with the bleach to get it out and I really don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna do this and I've already got a jug of bleach here, which I'm calling it bleach, which is pretty common, but it's um, sodium hypochlorite, which is the, it's a liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, top this jug off with the remainder of water. So I have a 50-50 mix. So now the way we recommend to mix the apple blossom is four to one. So I have a measuring cup here that has, um, let me see, four cups. That's a quart, right? Yeah, four cups is a quart. So this is one quart. And I could just take this entire one gallon jug and put it in here and then add four gallons of water to it. But for demonstration purposes, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make basically a little over a gallon of mix with this. So I'm gonna put one quart into my container here. Let me try not to spill it. So you can see how thick that is. It's got a lot of the color marking dye in it and a lot of surfactant. And it's really, really strong with that apple smell. That's what uh, people love about the product as well, not just that it's a color marker. Some people actually buy it just for the apple smell. They don't even care about the um, color marker. Now, like I said a while ago, you want to be careful with this product because the dye is very strong. And if you get the dye on something, you want to get it off, it's going to require applying a little bit of a bleach to it to neutralize that dye and take it off the surface. So if you're mixing this on a customer's job site or around your house, or it um, spills onto any of your clothes and you get, you get that dye on there, well, you're just gonna have to put some, some bleach on there, or some sodium hypo hypochlorite to neutralize it. And of course, it's not gonna do it in one second. It'll take, it'll take you know, up to 20 minutes to neutralize that out. And, and possibly a little longer 
because it is the concentrate. It's not the um, it's not what's diluted like we spray onto the surface. Because once it goes through the downstream ejector and mixes in with the bleach, you have uh, a very diluted uh, con or you know the concentration has been diluted anywhere from on I would say especially in this this application somewhere between 40 to 100 to one. And now you've got it in the full strength. It's going to take. Uh, quite a bit of bleach to get you there. So I believe I just put in, uh, this will be my th my third cup. Hopefully I didn't miscount that because I'm, I'm talking so much and this is the last cup. So now I've got my, my concentrated, <laughs> my re, uh, my, my slightly diluted constant concentration of the apple blossom. So now it's ready to be pulled through the downstream injector. And if you've got a, a mixing station or anything like that, that you want to run this product through it'll work just as good through that mixing station we actually sell a product called the sidewinder that you can use this with for those that want to get away from batching so let me hook this up let's put on the downstream injector now we've had people ask can i get a downstream injector dual stream that will work with eight gallons per minute we do have that as well so we have a couple different ones. This particular one that I have here that I'm putting on is for a five and a half gallon minute machine. That's what I'm using. This is one of our rental trailers here at powerwash.com. Set that up. Let me put this in here. So like I said, whatever, whatever you want to do, I'm going to close this all the way down and I'm going to crank it open one turn to see what kind of a, a mix we got there. I honestly haven't um, played a lot around with this downstream injector uh, metering valve, <clears throat> but we'll see how it sprays on the surface and we need to adjust it a little bit. We will. So I'm going to fire up the machine. Well, first, before I do that, <clears throat> I want to show you what I'm using here at the end of the gun to apply with. This happens to be one of our J rods and one of the things that makes our J rods a little different than what you find out there on the market is that the quick couplers on the end are electrically charged and then they just push them together and they they're welded like that from a touch weld where ours is actually put with a bead they actually put a bead of weld on them so that's why they're discolored they have that discoloration to them and they're extremely strong so they're not going to break apart and then this has got different angles on it for uh, applying to the surface. We got a zero degree, we got a 15 degree, and I think that's a, a 25 degree on there, yeah. And then, then we have the assassin nozzle for long range shooting. That's what I'm gonna put on here because then I'm gonna show you how it's gonna hit on the side of the building here when I spray the apple blossom onto it to give you a really good visual of the results we get when we use apple blossom blended with the dual stream or the, uh, yeah, the dual downstream injector. So give me a second, I'm gonna start the machine up and get everything hooked up here and then I'll, I'll demonstrate for you. I'm going to go to the one to one and a half. I'm 
I'm gonna do one slash quarter. All right, so that was the demonstration I wanted to do for you on how to uh, apply the apple blossom. Now, a couple of things I want to point out. We were applying it under low pressure with these last three nozzles here. These are uh, our low pressure nozzles, so to speak, at different angles. Like I said uh, in the, uh, the video previously is that the first one here is a 15 degree, or I should say the second one in this set is a 15 degree, that's a 20 degree. But this is a zero degree uh, assassin nozzle for shooting long range, which I used on this over here. But then when I went to rinse, I went to this zero degree high pressure tip so that I could rinse the surface off. And that automatically pushes, pushes me into the rinse mode. So that's what we had here. Now, some other things I want to point out on the, uh, the mixing of the product. So I put three different applications on. The first application I did was with the, uh, the mix valve turned one full revolution open. So I wanted to see how it would do with one half a revolution. So I came back in here, closed it all the way down, opened it one half a turn. Then I did one quarter of a revolution. So again, I closed it, opened it a quarter turn. And you could see the results I was getting. So with that said, you could probably mix our product way weaker than what I recommended in this video. So I said four to one, you could go up one to 10, I think even, and be able to pull it through this and get a little finer adjustment with the metering valve with opening up more than what I did here in the video. So I'm sure you guys will find other ways to do this and get a little more in tune with, with how to blend it, but that's the basics on how this uh, downstream injector kit works, the dual, the dual downstream injector kit works for the apple blossom so you don't have to have a batching system or a, uh, uh, a stallion or some type of mix station whether it's ours I'm sorry I said a stallion but I meant to say it was a sidewinder the mix station that we have the sidewinder you don't have to have that or, or or somebody else's to be able to use this product you can use the dual stream downstream injector and uh, I'm trying to think what else to, to add here um, for pointers I think that's it. Gotta love this Texas heat though. Man, I'm burning up out here. So in closing, I'm Mike Kinderlight of the Dina Power Wash. Please subscribe or like our channel. Follow us so that you get more useful tips and tricks in the future. Thank you and have a successful week.